Hey YouTube, welcome back. It's been quite a while. Uh, getting back into Pokemon, trying to uh, collect them all as you would. Uh, doing two boxes of Team Up. Will be two separate videos, but otherwise it will be the style that you know and quite possibly love or hate. Um, so we're just going to be looking at the good stuff, which means the uh, the uh, rare and the reverse hollow. Uh, tons of good cards in the team up set, so it's going to be two team up boxes. It's also said that I haven't really done anything in, so let's get to it. Let's see if we get it opened the right way here. Let's just have a. All right, so the code is there. All right, so we got a reverse uh, Nita. And the rare is a Mimikyu, I guess. All right, get a bit of focus on that thing. All right, and putting that one over here. All right, so the codes are a little bit different than the ones that I've opened previously. I've opened a couple boosters just to get a feel for, for the set. So, code is there, put that over here. Then we have a reverse a Persian, which is an uncommon. And then we have the first hit, which is a Latias, Latios a tag team card. So pretty cool with a tag team right off the bat here. Moving on in. Going to keep this video as short as I humanly possibly can. So... Code away. There we go. We got a hollow reverse hollow flaffy, and then we got an Alolan executor. That's the rare in the box. So this set also actually has quite a few decent rares, which is not too common. I don't feel like in Pokemon. It's normally all the all the secret rares and super rares and ultra rares and all that stuff. It's normally that that part that's the good stuff so we got a reverse fairy charm ub and then we got a needle queen regular rare but yeah i'm getting into pokemon trying to uh, collect everything from the base set onwards so that's uh, that's a fun experiment uh, so but at least i get to open up some boosters again it's been, it's been a while since i've been doing that honestly <clears throat> and I've missed it quite a bit as well. So, all right. So we got a Rose Hollow uh, Honich, and we got a uh, Hollow Moltres. So that's a Hollow Rare. Put that over here. Put that there, and I'll sort through it later. You don't have to watch that stuff. Get the code out of the way. All right. So we got a reverse rare Articuno. And then we got a regular rare uh, Ferrothorn. So trying a little bit different setup also with the camera this time around. Uh, don't have quite the money to go out and buy super expensive stuff. So here we are. We got a reverse uh, muck. It's also a reverse hollow rare. And then we got a bee drill. Going into attack mode there. Right. A feisty booster. Oh, we got a full art Ingo and Emmett. So that's a full out trainer supporter. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I always love the, the full outs that always keeps coming back to Pokemon with the impressive full outs. I really do do love those. So that's another hit. And then the reverse holo is a good old Squirtle. Look how happy he is. He's happy to be a Squirtle. Alright. Just throw out the garbage real quick here. Alright. Moving on. We're at five minutes already. All right, let's see. We got a 
Reverse Hollow Mankey. And we got a Muck as the rare. I'll try and speed it up just a little bit because we haven't actually gotten really, really far into this box yet. So we're two hits deep. So that's always something. And we got our Reverse Hollow Ponita. Pon Ponita. Then we got a regular rare Nido King. Alright, see what we got here. We got a reverse hollow Viridian Forest. I think most of us remember that. And then we got a Lycan Rock. GX. So that's uh counts as another hit at least. So I'm not really sure how much play that sees, but still it's a GX and we will take it. At the very least I'm gonna need one for my collection. I'm actually also contemplating starting up playing a little bit again. I was a little hesitant when I heard that there was another Vileplume deck out there. All those oppressive decks are not really my my style. We got a for a reverse hollow rare primate and a regular rare Magina or Magiena, depending on what you feel like. So, so far, we've only seen one regular hollow rare, and we've seen a tag team, a regular GX, and we've seen a full up trainer. All right, so we got a Pornyard that's a common reverse hollow. And then we have a Skarmory. That's a regular rare. We got a Mareep Reverse Hollow. And we got a Jirachi Stellar Wish. So that's one of the very good rares to get. And it is a hollow rare. So this is definitely a thing. So very happy to see that one in the first box. So that's excellent. Excellent news. That sees plays in a play in a lot of different decks. With this ability. And these boosters are hard to open. Alright, so we got a Tapu Coco. Uh, I think that's one of those prison things. So that's a thing that came out, I believe, just when I about quit with all the prison stuff. So Tapu Koko uh, prison. And then we got a uh, Kabutops regular rare. So we got a, let's see, we got a reverse hollow AG slash. So that's a rare again, very nice. And then we got a B sharp, regular rare. So a ton of regular rares so far. And two hollow rares. Moltres and Jirachi. So still very happy about that Jirachi though. That's a, that's a doozy. All right. So second to last booster in the first row. Let's see what we get. So we got a, another Jirachi, this time reverse hollow. Very nice. That is definitely awesome to get. Very excited about this. And then we got the Magikarp Veilord tag team. So that's cool. It's not a tag team. I don't see know how much plays this is, but Magikarp Veilord, what's not to like? Super duper water team right there. And final booster in the first row. Let's see what we get. We got a reverse hollow blitzel. And we got a not an energy. We got a Galvantula. Regular rare. So we'll put that over here. So just after I said that there were a ton of regular rares, we actually got quite a few hits in a row. Alright. 
so possibly first booster and the second row i may may have opened one i'm not entirely sure honestly so we got a moltres that is a regular rare uh reverse all rare excuse me and then we got a bronze song that's the regular rare all right very cool We got a reverse hollow needle queen. That is a reverse rare. And we got a Oma Star. That is a hollow. Little hard to see. But it is a hollow. So that's a hollow rare right there. I'm hoping for well at least three more hits in the uh, GX uh, secret rare department. That would be that would be a baller, as they say. Litten. It's a kitten, but it's a fire kitten, so it's a litten. We got a Pinsir, one of my favorite Pokemon when I was a kid. I mean, it's not Charizard, but I mean he's pretty cool. Him and Skyper really like those guys. So we got a reverse Grimer, that's a common. And then we got a Lowland Marowak, that is a regular rare. Kind of funny artwork on that stuff though. All right, let's get these out of the way. Possibly throw them up here. Then I can clean up when you guys aren't watching. Going right along. Kind of hoping to be done by the 16 minute mark, but it's gonna be a little longer. I feel we might actually roll into 20. We'll see. We got a reverse hollow Galvantula, so that is another reverse hollow rare. Been a ton of those, honestly, in this box. Then we got a Celebi Venusaur. Venusaur is fantastic, so that's a pretty cool card to get as well. I feel like. I'm not really too fussed about value at this point, at least in time, as I am needing to collect one of every single card, including in reverse hollow. So pretty much everything right now is usable, but I mean, naturally you want to get the more expensive card if you hit them uh, more than once for redundancy, so you can trade them. But yeah, right now I'm very excited. I'm easily excitable, as you would say. That's a Mimikyu. That is a reverse hollow rare again. Then we got a good old Blastoise. Yeah, buddy. That is a regular rare. But it's a Blastoise, so you know. It's cool, regardless. Alright. You gotta love me, you know. First gen. That's where I started. It's when I was a kid, so. It's my favorite. It's my boys. We got a Lavitar. And we got a Primeape. Lavitar was a common, and Primate was the rare in the booster. Alright. As always, I will, I will be doing a recap at the end real quick. Uh, just to, you know, kind of show off the, the, the pieces that was, you know, exciting to pull. Reverse Hollow Electrode. Knitted version. That is a rare. And then we got an Aegislash. Hollow rare. Come on, GX. Or Secret Rare, or something. Something that does something. <laughs> Always more, once more, right? That's how it goes. That's why we keep buying boosters. Alright, so we got a Reverse Hollow Pidget. That is also a rare. And we got a Mandibus. Regular rare. So, there we go. So our Reverse Hollow Rare list is... Looking pretty full, real quick, it seems like. And seeing as you don't get to get the, uh, the DX and the tag team in any sort of like reverse, so it's pretty easy to put together, even. We got a reverse hollow uh, evil tower, I guess. Uh, that is also a rare. Oh, heck, with all the rares. In the reverse hall department, and then we got an Alolan Executor number two. Different kind to the first one we pulled, so that's okay. 
Gonna need one of those anyway. All right, here we go. This one, this is it. I can feel it. This is the one. It's the one. So we are starting out with a solar rack. Reverse hollow. And then it is something shiny. A Cobalion GX. Really loving the, the art on these GXs though. It's really it's really nice. It's really impressive. As a magic player, I mean, sure we've gotten we've gotten some, you know, expeditions and we've gotten some stuff going on, but man, I mean Pokemon they do cards and they do them right. Constant. Gotta love it. I mean, even as a, I mean, as a non-player, um, as a Voltorb, it's a common. And then there's a Parasect, he's a rare. Um, even as an, I mean, I, I've played, I've never played competitively. But when I played, I mean, it was always fun to try and, you know, pimp out your deck. I had the same tendencies in Magic, but then, you know, just as a collector, just, you know, putting together those secret rares and ultra rares, and, you know, Getting all the cool artwork and stuff. I mean, it's it's I've, it's pretty cool. Gotta admit, we got the good old Skarmory again. This time in the, the reverse hollow version, and then we got a Pidgeot non reverse hollow version. So that was a tit for tat right there. All right, moving into what do we got. This is the fifth to last booster. We're getting there. Just gotta keep the timbo. We got a Dooblade, that's an Uncommon. Then we got a Tyranitar. Look at that boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, so that's a Hollow Rare. Excellent. Throwing out the dance moves. All right. Then we got a Shaman. Remember the good old Shaman EX. Those were the days. So that's a Prism card, I believe. Unless I'm mistaken. In that case, it isn't. And then we got a Substrica. And my hand. Alright. So that's a regular rare. It goes there. And then we have that one there and that one there. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Oh, and we got a Ladybug. Uh oh, Ladybug is upside down. Hold on. Here we go, little buddy. There we are. Ladybug might be crawling into the frame. Or maybe not. All the sun is on the table, so there it is. There we go, little buddy. Alright, so we got a reverse hollow gold duck. It's an uncommon. And we got a Mr. Mime. Regular rare. And the lady mark narrowly making an escape, I think. Alright, so we got a Nido King reverse. That is a rare. And then what? We got a secret rare. Magikarp Waylord GX. Oh baby. What a team. What a team. Am I right? So very nice. A secret rare random bank. Oh well, random binder. So that's pretty cool. Get one of those out of the way. And then for the last booster, we have a Ferro Seed. That is a common. For the reverse, and then we have a Lapras. Lapras. So that is it, and let's just recap real quick. We had a total of six hits, seven hits, actually. So we had Magikarp Wailord, Cobalion GX, so that was a secret by the first one. Then we have a Celebi Venusaur, we had Magikarp Wailord again. Then we had Lycan Rocks GX. Then we had Ingo and Emmet. And then we had Latios and Latios. And then we furthermore had a Hollow Jirachi and a Reverse Hollow Jirachi. 
which is like a $20 card, I believe. So, all in all, I am very impressed. I'm not impressed with the runtime of this video, so I'm just going to lock the fuck out. I'll talk to you next time. Have a good one. Bye.